Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm glad to welcome you to our channel. As always, I'm Alexander Sudriv, and today we are at the construction site together with Artur Anatolievich, Deputy General Director of Development at Sovelmash. I hope that sound quality will be satisfying for you. We have taken all the necessary measures because the wind is really strong, but we'll see how it goes. Artur Anatolievich, tell us why we are here today. As you can see in the background, the metal structures have been delivered, the trucks are being unloaded, the air temperature has increased, it was minus 15 degrees, you know. And now the work is underway. You can also see here that the formwork is being made. In the future, this formwork will be filled with concrete to shape the foundation. As a matter of fact, the construction activities have started, so everything is fine. And this video will be informative, but quite concise. Today you will be taken on a tour of the construction camp and see an interview with the construction manager. Enjoy watching the video. This is our meeting room, where the weekly meetings are held with the customer, the technical customer, the general designer, and of course the daily meetings with foremen, subcontractors, and so on. This is the entrance to the office space, the project secretary. Everything you can see on the right is the premises for the construction superintendent. Let's move on. This is the utility room with the refreshments, refrigerator. The head of engineering systems is currently on a sick leave. Nikolai Makarov is the construction superintendent. Ivan Kochimirov. The backup room for storing all kinds of tools, measuring equipment, and so on. This is my room. And here we have accommodated the general director and the deputy general director for the busy time. Alexey Yurovich, today we have been going around the site and noticed that the workers are engaged in carpentry, they are sewing boards. What is happening there? We are getting prepared for concreting, making the formworks. We delivered the steel reinforcements the day before yesterday. We are making the steel reinforcement frame for the foundations. At the same time, we have been warming up the pit foundation from Saturday. In fact, can we say that we are starting the concrete casting process? Yes, we are warming up the footing, monitoring the temperature at ground freezing, the rate of soil thawing, and at the same time we are engaged in making the formwork. I can see the formworks inside. They are being welding by using steel reinforcements. The mesh. The mesh. The reinforcement mesh will be located exactly there inside the concrete. I reckon the form work with the mesh will be installed with a crane truck. It's installed directly in its place, yes. I mean, in fact, these works mean installing the supports in the form of metal structures. Yes, that's right. Is the frame of the building going to be visible? Yes, it is. Each foundation consists of three parts, and the last third part is the upper part. It contains in its body, as we mentioned in the previous videos, it contains anchor fasteners, which are used for positioning the column. So it turns out that the supports are installed immediately after pouring concrete. Or in a few days. No, it should reach the required strength, which is at least 60-70%. How many days does it take? This is probably about 10-14 days. As far as I understand, the installation of metal structures is not planned within the next 10 days. 
That is, all the concrete will be poured first. Not all the concrete. But as I have mentioned in the conversation with you before, the first part of it will be poured. The entire foundation will be divided into three stages. Stage 1 from axis 23 to 16 and so on. As soon as we finish the first stage in this area, Astron will start working. And how many such foundations will there be? Unfortunately, we have not put the foundation design project here. There are probably at least 50 of them here. 50, yes. And how many foundations per day? How many of them can be poured? You can definitely pour 10 foundations per day. 10 foundations. And currently we are just preparing the formworks for 10 foundations. Today, in fact, after arriving to the site, we can see a huge amount of work that is being carried out in different areas. There are specialists engaged in concrete works, some workers are preparing the formwork, the truck is getting unloaded. Actually, can you tell us in more detail what kinds of work are being carried out now? Today, three asteroid trucks have arrived, and during this week we are expecting 10 more trucks here. Now we are sorting out the placement of these metal structures, we have started to put them here, right and left. This is the current issue at hand. Simultaneously, there are people engaged in outdoor lighting. As you have seen, we have street lamps, search lights. We are connecting them now and the test launch is scheduled for today. In fact, it is already possible to light something, but it will not be properly visible at daylight. And what time do you finish the workday in the evening? We work until 7 p.m. Great, well, if we can, we'll try to be the first ones to capture it in the evening. Are there any difficulties? Those difficulties that delay the deadlines. For instance, for building the foundation or installation of supports. I mean such factors as the weather. Let's say it was minus 20 degrees. It was hard, yes, it was really hard. But now the weather seems to be on our side. We are trying to stick to our schedule. There have been no considerable difficulties yet. As it usually goes in construction, such things attack unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. You're quite right. As far as I understand the scope of work is clear, we can only wish all of us success, and I suggest that we return to the implementation of our direct tasks. Thank you very much. Well, at this point, dear viewers, the video comes to its logical end. I hope that in this video Artur Anatolovich and I have succeeded in showing you a huge number of workflow processes that are currently being performed. And I guess it's not the end. It's not. In the next videos we will show you the process of installing the formwork, where it should be located. We'll show you the process of pouring the concrete, installing the metal structures, and in fact, there are still plenty of interesting construction works ahead. So, keep a close eye on our social media, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button, because despite the harsh climatic conditions, we still come and record videos for you, withstanding the wind, and this is a challenging task in terms of sound quality. Goodbye, have a nice day, see you again!